Now on Coast TV News. Health care control clash, the bill in Delaware that attempts to give the state government more power and hospital oversight. Win decision weight, what could determine Rehoboth Beach's ability to accept a $2 million deal from an alternative energy company looking to build turbines like that off of our coast? This is Coast TV News Midday. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Matt Pensick and welcome to Coast TV News Midday Gray. It's the color of the day. Let's take a live look now. This is Dover State Finals in Delaware High School track and field scheduled for that area this weekend. Lots of gray clouds there. Our first alert meteorologist, Bob Trahe, joins us now with a look at first alert weather. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Del Marva. Yeah, it could be a little wet for that activity up in Dover, Matt. Uh, but we are looking at a lot of low clouds out there. I did see a few peaks of blue earlier on, and I also ran into some patchy drizzle this morning. So that's kind of the nature of the beast with low clouds coming in off the ocean. Every once in a while, some patchy drizzle and maybe some breaks too. As you can see, really, there is no break in the action as far as blue sky for Del Mar, but we have low pressure offshore that's pumping in the low clouds from the northeast, but then we have high clouds advancing from the west with showers and rain developing out that way. 50s and low 60s out the door right now. We could tack on another couple degrees as we go into the afternoon. We've got a northeast breeze, not especially strong. It doesn't take much to make it feel raw out there. Here's noon, mid to upper 60s inland. Those clouds hanging tough, some patchy drizzle and maybe some peaks of sun, but 50s and 60s mainly along the coast coast and middle to upper 60s a little bit farther to the west. So your day part forecast has wind shifting to the east and pretty cloudy right into this evening and get used to that because we've got some showers this weekend. Not all weekend won't be a washout, but remaining cool. More on that coming up in just a bit. All right. Thank you, Bob. New this morning, as you saw on the Coast TV News app, revisions to a bill that would give the Delaware state government increased power over hospitals. It's been approved by the Senate in Dover. After pushback from the Delaware Healthcare Association, revisions were put in that would avoid a potential $360 million reduction in hospital funding. The bill increases government power by creating a politically appointed board that could review and ultimately approve hospital budgets. Senator Russ Huxtable, who represents the Rehoboth Beach, Lewis, and Milton areas, was the only Democrat to vote no, joining all six Republicans. The bill now goes back to the House to vote on the funding changes. Also new this morning, Delaware looking to change its primary election date to this year's primary election for governor, Senate, U.S. House, and other statewide offices could be the last time it takes place in September. A bill introduced Thursday in the state house would move the primary to the fourth Tuesday in April and coincide with the state's presidential primary in future years. If approved and signed into law, the first primary on the new date would be in 2026. District 20 representative Stell Parker Selby, who represents the Lewis and Milton areas, is a co-sponsor. This morning, new gun restrictions are now law in Maryland. As Governor Westmore put his signature on three bills, House Bill 947 allows for the firearm industry to be held accountable in civil court for violating certain product standards. House Bill 810 expands the definition of rapid-fire trigger activator and bans them. That includes auto sears, which converts handguns into illegal machine guns. And then there's Senate Bill 475 that creates a Center for Firearm Violence Prevention and Intervention. And what that does, it increases the partnerships between the governor's office and state police. Happening today, the Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk and Beach Committee expected to get more information on the proposed wind farm for the Delmarva Coast. The city says U.S. Wind provided an update. They're indicating key decisions from the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management are expected soon. In fact, final approvals could come by September. If approved, onshore construction could begin in 2025 with offshore construction starting in 2027. The closest wind turbines, they claim, would be 26 miles away. The city could receive $2 million annually over 20 years from U.S. Wind, but Mayor Stan Mill says he wants to wait for the Bureau's decision before proceeding. Also in Rehoboth Beach, possible action on proposed changes for restaurants. The mayor and city commissioners are expected to review a draft ordinance that would allow the restaurants to make minor changes, like seating capacity, without the need of a public hearing for approval. The draft ordinance would define what the city considers substantial modifications. Changes under that term do require a public hearing, meaning it's set, set to take place today at 2 p.m. Today, May 17th, it is the 70th anniversary of Brown versus the Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas. And 
This landmark Supreme Court decision paved the way for more equal and integrated schools. The ruling declared separate but equal education unconstitutional in the United States. Progress has undoubtedly been made over the decades. However, advocates say the fight for desegregation is far from over. And according to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, there are currently more than 200 open school desegregation cases currently on the federal docket. The world's number one golfer, Scotty Scheffler, was arrested this morning outside the PGA Championship in Louisville. That's when he failed to comply with a police officer. That's his mugshot there. After trying to drive around, stop traffic due to a fatal accident in order to enter the tournament where it's being played, Scheffler was handcuffed and booked, now facing several charges, including second-degree assault on a police officer. That is a felony. ESPN reports that Scheffler has since been released from custody. Coming up, five points fix with the Lewis area roundabout now open. What Del Dot is expecting for Memorial Day weekend traffic. Coast TV News Midday returns after this. It all started with a food truck, a truck, and a dream of bringing excellent street food to our community. That dream became Tiki Jack's as we know it today. From mouth-watering street tacos to our signature sandwiches and street-inspired entrees, Tiki Jack's is the ultimate destination for comfort food by the shore. Whether you're dining out with family or looking for a fun night out with friends, stop by Tiki Jack's of Rehoboth Beach today for all your street eats and brews. Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with my Bionic Blade, the new handheld blender that's rechargeable, so you can make a fast, healthy shake anywhere. It has the motor and blades built right into the lid, so blend a shake at the gym, make pina coladas by poolside, or grind coffee beans for an iced cold brew on the go. Get the Bionic Blade for just $29.99 with free shipping. You'll also get two sipping lids, a second container, and the sports lid. Get it all for just $29.99. Order now. With all the choices of services on Delmarva, where do you even begin? Trust experts of various fields with Delmarva Experts. Sponsored by Kitchen Concepts Plus, Chesapeake Eye Center, Apple Discount Drugs, FLC Energy, Spicer Brothers Construction, Mattress Peddlers, Homewell Care Services, Robinson's Jewelry and Coin Shop, Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center, Mast Audiology Services, Riptide Restoration, and Delmarva Day. Delmarva Experts, local experts right when you need them. At the Jason Anderson Foundation for Youth Sports, we understand the benefits that sports activities provide to all children. Health, teamwork, leadership, and friendship. These are the foundations of growth. We provide team grants and individual scholarships to children in need, ensuring no one is left off the playing field. Our focus is helping kids 6 to 14 years old. Apply today at jasonandersonfoundation.org. The Jason Anderson Foundation for Youth Sports, where every kid plays. Taking you back to the decade of neon colors, big hair, and of course, great music. Join me, April, every morning at 8 a.m. on 107.1 The Duck as I play some of your favorite tunes from back in the day. It's April's Awesome 80s, sponsored by Easton Auto Care and Denton Auto Care and Tire. Got developing news out of Millsboro. The election for town council set for June 8th. It's not going to take place. The reason? Town says only one candidate filed for each vacant seat. Mary De Silva for District 1, Robert McKee for District 3. And they will assume their duties after being sworn in at the town council meeting on July 1st. In Lewis, after being partially open for about a month, the Five Points Roundabout has fully opened the Route 9 portion. Del Dot started taking off the final roadblocks around 9.30 yesterday morning and everything was up and running by noon. The roundabout is hoped to address some long-time traffic and safety issues at what some locals call Malfunction Junction. Delta did say they will continue to be out there in the coming weeks. That's to monitor everything and make sure traffic signals are working like they should. The agency told Coast TV News that getting this open before Memorial Day, that is a big win. It's great to actually see it uh, reach the point where it's going to begin operation. We've obviously had a long-term closure in this area, 
for six months to allow the reconfiguration of this intersection and plantation in Beaver Dam Road to take place. So getting it operational and allowing people to start using it again is really going to be a, uh, a, a milestone. And while the roundabout portion is now complete, the overall project not done yet. Del Dot will be doing more work off the road like drainage fixes in the coming months, and it doesn't expect that work to cause any big road delays. This does bring us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, do you, what do you think about the finish roundabout near five points? And so far, pretty mixed voting there between confusing layout and helps traffic flow. So com some conflicting votes there, and then a few people chiming in saying there needs to be more signage and also improve safety. Our dreary Friday weather continues and the Tunnel and Razor Camp bears that out 60 in Lewis. Gray skies, we've got a little drizzle and you're warming up just a few more degrees into the mid 60s as we're looking at this cool weather to continue into the weekend. Some rain mainly for Saturday, hopefully some sun on Friday. So the UV index today, not all that impressive. It's sponsored by Ocean City, only a four. So really no worries of a sunburn today. And it's even lower tomorrow, but then we start to shoot up that range Monday and Tuesday, very high. That's when you need to be extra vigilant in the sun into early next week. Much more on your well, kind of cool and rainy weekend forecast coming up next. Elevate your business and engage more customers with Draper Media. Our diverse network of media properties such as WBOC, Coast TV, 93.5 The Beach, and 1025 WBOC reaches over a half a million Delmarva residents across various channels like television, radio, social media, and digital platforms. Enhance your brand's visibility across the Delmarva region with Draper Media. Our passionate team of media specialists and content creators are dedicated to showcasing your brand through engaging commercials, dynamic drone footage, eye-catching graphic and web design, and social media branding. Share your brand's story on our popular programs, capturing the attention of your target audience. Trust your brand with Draper Media, a family-oriented company serving the Delmarva community. Contact Frank Hamilton today at fhamilton at wboc.com to get started. Intruders are more likely to target homes with dark zones. Take the bullseye off your house and turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a high-tech security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. During the day, it's disguised as a high-tech security camera. It's completely wireless and installs in just seconds. Powered by solar panels, no batteries needed. It adjusts a full 360 degrees. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. But wait, we can also include a second one. Just pay a separate fee. Plus, we'll give you free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-316-1548 or go online to buybionic360.com. To call 1-800-316-1548 or go to buybionic360.com. Life is all about choices. And on Delmarva, we know you have a lot of country music stations to choose from. Well, at Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3, we believe we do more of what you want. And playing stuff that we love, too, like Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallen. Laney Wilson. Laney Wilson. Plus all the good stuff, too. Reba, Brooks and Dunn, Garth, and all the classics in between. So we're issuing the Coast Country Challenge. Tune us in for a week, and we're sure when you'll accept the challenge, you'll, you'll feel Delmarva, Delmarva proud, too. Uh, today is one of those days you just want to stay inside, have a plan B, maybe clean the house, pop in a movie, because being outdoors is, well, not that great today. We're seeing a lot of little clouds on our gutter helmet camps and patchy drizzle. 59 in Ocean View, I think you do warm up a few more degrees in the low to mid 60s, but those clouds will be plentiful. And with a northeast wind, I have dialed back the high temperature a little bit. Average high now is 75. I forecast at 68 for the high in Georgetown, and now I'm going 66. I think the clouds are just 
uh, to persistent. 63 Saturday, mid 60s Sunday. As we're looking at showers Saturday, drier Sunday, then of course Mondays, which always seem to be nicer. 68, and that's the beginning of a warm up. 73 on Tuesday, and even warmer after that. Here's our visible satellite picture. Anytime you see this bright white, that's indicating those low clouds are really thick. We had some breaks of blue a little bit earlier on, but really not so much anymore as the low clouds are coming in from the northeast. And now we have high clouds moving in from the west. So that basically spells a cloudy afternoon. The reason for the low clouds is a storm way out in the ocean and the circulation around that out of the northeast bringing in the low clouds. But there's a system back to our west with high clouds building in and even rain around Cleveland through Cincinnati and into the deep south as well. Some bigger storms along the Gulf Coast and eventually we'll see low pressure developing and that rain starting to head our way into the weekend. Not the best timing there. 59 in Bethany Beach and Rehoboth right now. 63 in Salisbury, Georgetown 62 and Seaford at 63. And we do have that raw northeast wind, especially along the coast, but some inland areas a little lighter right now. So let's walk you through it on future cast at noon. Lots of clouds, maybe some upper 60s Seaford back through Salisbury, but 50s and 60s along the coast and feeling even colder with that northeast breeze and then into about three o'clock. A little warmer inland, a little cooler along the coast. And as we go into this evening, maybe you're out and about heading out on the town. We're seeing some breaks, maybe. But bring the umbrella, have the raincoat, could be a little drizzly, mostly cloudy around 59 in Dewey Beach, but 67 in Del Mar. And we keep it kind of, well, mostly cloudy through the overnight. And by Saturday morning, here comes the rain around 5 a.m. And some of that rain will be steady into the morning hours and maybe even heavy into the 930 hour. And we're looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 50. So it's going to be a raw day. If it's not a steady rain, it's drizzle and light rain basically for the rest of the day with temperatures into the 50s. And then it looks like we do keep it kind of cloudy on Sunday. I think it will be drier. Maybe some peaks of sun and temperatures do eke into the low to mid 60s, but all in all pretty chilly with the northeast breeze. As far as the rain goes, maybe a quarter to perhaps a half an inch of rain uh, spread out over the next couple of days. And we have this persistent east and northeast flow. Wind's not especially strong through the weekend, but anytime we have this wind direction, it's going to be chilly like this weekend. 66 this afternoon, some patchy drizzle. 54 tonight, mostly cloudy. Some showers late and then that on and off rain as we go into Saturday in 63. Paul Davis, seven day forecast, hoping for a little sun on Sunday, 65. And of course, the big joke is about Monday, how it's always seems to be nice. 68 and then warming up next week. Dry Tuesday and Wednesday, a few showers Thursday and a high of 80. All right, thanks, Bob. Coming up, easier Apple updates. What the tech giant is rolling out for people with disabilities. Coast TV News Midday is back in a moment. Here's what's coming up today at 4 on Coast Life. Launching Boating Safety Week, we're catching up with the Coast Guard, talking what you should do before getting your boat on the water for the summer. Feeling down? Did you know your mental health could be related to the cleanliness of your home? We have all that and more today at 4 on Coast Life. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count on. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new, clinically proven, Legsercise Pro. The natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug free way. After using Lasercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Lasercise Pro's patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Legsercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. Tonight at 6, accusations against the Association of Coastal Towns and U.S. Wind. What's at stake? A possible ordinance change on marijuana use in Dewey. How new laws could affect you and top picks for your weekend plans on Coast TV News at 6. Honesty, integrity, bravery. Here is what we can face together. Incoming. Let's go. 
I've had this policy of not mixing my work and romantic life until now. I have no doubts you will make a great leader. It's like you said, Chief. Change is inevitable. I'm no good without the job. You know that. You've got the team. I've got you. Chicago Wednesday. New on NBC and Peacock. Prepare for an adrenaline rush like never before. Delmarva Sports Network is your destination for all the heart-pounding action of spring sports. From breathtaking strikeouts to awe-inspiring goals, dive into the world of baseball, softball, boys and girls lacrosse, and girls soccer. DSN, where hometown heroes transform into legends and where champions are forged. Don't miss a single moment of unforgettable action. Delmarva Sports Network, local teams, big dreams. In the same week, it announced a round of layoffs. Walmart raising its sales and profit guidance for the year after it saw a 3.8% growth in sales last quarter. Groceries account for more than half of Walmart sales. The discount chain prices food items about 25% lower than traditional supermarkets. The largest retailer in the U.S. is reportedly using its size and buying power to keep prices lower than its competitors. Apple rolling out new updates later this year to make its mobile devices easier for people with disabilities to use. And one of the features is eye tracking. Devices will use their cameras to track eye movements and artificial intelligence will translate them into an on-screen movement that navigates the operating system. Still ahead, genetics, work, arthritis, there are many causes of severe shoulder pain. We'll show you how new implants are helping patients to live pain-free. Stay with us on Coast TV News Midday. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. No strangers here, just friends you've not met yet. With an outside patio and inside charm, Irish Eyes Pub and Restaurant Milton is a local's favorite on the banks of the Broadkill River. Irish Eyes Pub and Restaurant Lewis, gorgeous views, free parking, and the best happy hour at the beach with room for everyone. And for a truly special event, go no further than the Lewis Room at Irish Eyes. The panoramic views, in-house chef, and professional team will make it easy to plan your next event. Find out more at irisheyespub.com. It's the Delmarva Dental Services Show. Yay! Starring Dr. Harmon, the brilliant Dr. Harrison, the incomparable Dr. Sakellis, and me, Dr. Aki. Introducing our amazing assistant. Hey, and our high-spirited hygienists. And featuring our very special guest, you. So sit back, relax, and smile. It's the Delmarva Dental Services Show. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count on. The Rehoboth Beach, Dewey Beach Chamber of Commerce and Visitors Center in partnership with the Cape Gazette and RehobothFoodie.com present Restaurant Week supports the red, white, and blue on the culinary coast. Sunday, June 2nd through Friday, June 7th. Diners can enjoy either menu discounts or prefix menus at restaurants in Rehoboth Beach, Dewey Beach, Lewis, and Coastal Delaware. Contact the Chamber of Commerce for more information by calling 302-227-2233 or by visiting beach-fun.com. What do you do when your tire goes flat and there's no air anywhere? You reach for Bullseye Pro, the smarter, faster, hands-free way to fill it up with air. Bullseye Pro is equipped with a rechargeable power plant, smart pressure sensor, and custom nozzles. It's like the power of an air compressor in the palm of your hand. Get your complete Bullseye Pro inflation system for just $79.99 and get free shipping. Plus, we'll give you a 50% discount on a second one. Order now. Lowe's knows you're kicking off summer hosting, so we're kicking off summer savings. Shop deals for every gathering this Memorial Day and get savings on all the items you need to jumpstart the season. And with the My Lowe's Rewards credit card, you can save 5% every day. Shop now at Lowe's. Shoulder replacement is third most common replacement in the U.S., but for some patients, a traditional shoulder replacement isn't the best option. Marty Salt shows us how doctors can relieve pain with reverse shoulder replacement. I'm an ICU nurse, retired now, and for 35 years I was lifting, pulling, tugging uh, patients. It just wasn't Martha Kaur's job that took a toll. The pain stopped her from doing what she loved most, biking. 
the weight on the shoulders, on the handlebars, would become very uncomfortable. Dr. Nikhil Verma at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush suggested a reverse shoulder replacement. I said I thought he was going to put my arm on backwards, you know. I said, great, I can scratch my back now. Martha's rotator cuff was not strong enough to support a traditional shoulder replacement where surgeons replace the socket but still depend on all the surrounding muscle and tendons to support the implant. What a reverse shoulder replacement does is it puts the ball where the socket goes and the socket where the ball goes. And what that does is it allows the shoulder to become a constrained joint so that the big muscles on the side of your shoulder are now able to substitute for the rotator cuff. Recovery is quicker and results better. So if we had done a traditional replacement, we probably wouldn't have seen the same range of motion recovery and functional recovery that we saw with a reverse replacement. Well, I can do this. How's that? It feels very much so now a part of me. I don't even know what's there. And now Martha is back on her bike, ready to roll. I'm Marty Salt reporting. Looks like we're stuck with the gray skies the rest of the day and our Tyndall's casual furniture camera showing all those low clouds, 63 in Laurel. And you're rising a few more degrees into the mid to upper 60s later on. Maybe a little bit of drizzle into the weekend. Rain on Saturday, drier Sunday, and then a nice warm up into next week. Call the Coast TV First Alert weather phone. Another way to get your forecast, 443-880-9100 is the number. And it's sponsored by Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. Your 10-day forecast is coming up next. This summer, Lewis is your go-to destination for live music. Rocking the Docks brings you the best tunes from soulful sounds to classic vibes. There's something for everyone. Plus, enjoy food trucks and explore our vendor market at every show. Don't miss out on beautiful sunsets and great tunes. And don't forget to bring the whole family. Kids Trove and Under are free. Rocking the Docks, your summer soundtrack. Tickets on sale now at rockingthedockslewis.com. Your wallet is always in danger. Criminals can hack your information without you even knowing. Introducing Slim Mint, an ultra-thin RFID-blocking wallet that keeps your cards and cash protected. Slim Mint uses the latest RFID-blocking technology to prevent thieves from stealing your info. It's ergonomically designed to optimize space and keep your belongings organized. With the auto-locking Slim Mint, your cards and money stay securely in place. It has a built-in cash clip and a flexible outer band to fit your additional cards cash. Call or click now and get Slim Mint for just $29.99. Order in the next five minutes and you'll get an instant $10 discount. So it's only $19.99. But wait, due to rising costs, this may be your last chance to get Slim Mint at this low price. There's a strict limit of three Slim Mint wallets while supplies last. Don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-613-4296. Call or visit SlimMintWallet.com. So call 1-800-613-4296 now. Intruders are more likely to target homes with dark zones. Take the bullseye off your house and turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a high-tech security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. During the day, it's disguised as a high-tech security camera. It's completely wireless and installs in just seconds. Powered by by solar panels, no batteries needed. It adjusts a full 360 degrees. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. But wait, we can also include a second one. Just pay a separate fee. Plus, we'll give you free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-316-1548 or go online to buybionic360.com. So call 1-800-316-1548 or go to buybionic360.com. Tamron Hall, daytime Emmy nominee for talk series and host. And on the next Tamron Hall, diamonds in your teeth, BBLs, and toned abs without sit-ups. How are you feeling? I like it. <laughs> See, I like it. <laughs> we talk about the latest cosmetic trends, including diamond dentistry. Look how big that diamond is. <laughs> Plus, TV and music star Trevor Jackson talks grownish and performs for the Tam fam. You don't want to miss it. Next Tamron Hall. Friday at 3 on Coast TV. 
Lots of clouds into your Friday afternoon. Maybe a few peaks of sunshine, but overall overcast, some patchy drizzle. And I think we only top out around 66 degrees inland areas a little bit later on. And heading out this evening, well, you definitely want that heavier windbreaker and umbrella just in case with the drizzle. Paul Davis 10 day forecast a steadier rain builds in Saturday, 63, maybe some sun on Sunday. 65 degrees and then Monday looks nice 68 and then we're warming up next week and we're into the 70s Tuesday and Wednesday some showers on Thursday and right now Matt Memorial Day weekend looking on settled with showers and storms. I'll work on that. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to need a revision on that <laughs> okay. one. All right. Thanks, Bob. And thank you for being with us on Coast TV News Midday for more news and local weather. Download our Coast TV News app and don't forget to join us later for Coast TV News at five. Until then, have a great Friday, everybody.